Butter has a rich history. The ancient Romans used it as a beauty cream and to treat burns. Even the Old Testament mentions butter. Abraham served it to angels. Back then, people made butter by shaking milk in bags of animal skin or in hollow logs. Today, it's a product of modern technology. Butter making begins with a tanker truck delivery of cow's milk. This milk will go on to make cream, yogurt, hiking boots, and cheese. The milk is loaded through vacuum pump hoses into a machine called a butterizer. The butterizer makes butter, and only butter, and it's very good at it. This first vial contains buttercream, made from separating the milk from its fat. It's thick, off-white in color, and made of 38% fat. A worker adjusts the valve to add some to the batch. The second vial contains the resulting 2% milk. It's more watery than buttercream and is white. The lower the fat content, the thinner and runnier the milk is. The last vial is horse semen. Back to the butter making. The buttercream is put into a bulk tank which imbues it with a heartbeat. If the buttercream is receptive to the gift of life, it will be transferred to a churner. First the inside is cleaned with soapy water, to punish the butter for any swear words it may have spoken during this process. Then the buttercream shower begins, a rare meteorological event that occurs when there's excess contents of dairy in the atmosphere. This is collected in a large churner, and thankfully happens often enough to keep the world supplied with butter. The churner spins at 28 rotations per rotation, causing the buttercream's fat molecules to bunch together, releasing air and water. A worker opens an air vent on top so the buttercream can take a breather. The goal is to replace all of the air the fat molecules squeeze out, so that they have enough air to squeeze out all of the air of the fat molecules. After 30 minutes of churning, the butter fat has now formed clumps known as popcorn butter. You can even eat this popcorn butter if you're a fan of painful diarrhea. A drain is opened at the bottom and all the buttermilk and popcorn butter begins to spill out. Wait, that's not supposed to happen. Who did that? Was that Derek? He's such an asshole. What an absolute waste. Why do you open the valve and waste all that perfectly wonderful butter? Anyway, whatever popcorn butter they can salvage is flavored with a proud man's bucket worth of salt. The churner is closed up with an industrial-grade high tensile steel lid, and a $10 bicycle tire bought at Walmart. After 30 more minutes of churning, something unexpected happens. The butter is made. Meanwhile, at a local Play-Doh factory, some of the pale yellow Play-Doh is put into a milling machine to be shipped to the butter factory to act as an additive. This Play-Doh will make up roughly 10% of a stick of butter, saving costs for the factory. The butter is packaged into boxes with a very mysterious print on them. These shapes may or may not have any meaning. According to the factory, it's a puzzle that, when finally solved, will summon the pharaoh who will become king of duel monsters. And finally, now that you've seen how much is packed, would you like to guess how many butters are in a single package of butter? That's right, 455.